How is it for you, Anna, to, uh, to see this movie? I know I've asked you this before. I, I, always get, I, I like to hear your different answers every time. But. I, keep, I keep fluctuating back and forth. There's a part of me that looks at it from an artistic point of view, an aesthetic point of view, and then I'll say, oh, why didn't I do this? Or why didn't I develop that? In other <laughs> words, I'm already recycling it to make it more aesthetically bright. Recycling your life. <laughs> yes. But then also there's another part of me that just looks at it in relationship to things that I went through in my life. Mm -hmm. And th then, then that's very different. Then it just brings up a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. And some of them are very sad. Mm -hmm. And some are very happy. So that is very emotional. Sure. And also, I feel very exposed. Yeah. And, uh, and that's, uh, you know, because he films so many different aspects um, of my work. You know, I think sometimes I look so funny, you know. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, uh, you know. I love the hippie times and the times when, uh, when, the, when the people came and took over your property or they just were sort of spread out. Yeah, and, and, uh, I, I, loved, been, I loved I loved seeing, seeing that. I love seeing the, the children. Yeah, your children uh, the, as the, children. And the relationship to Larry. I'll, I'll say one thing and then he'll just completely say, say no. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> yeah, right. So I was seeing things in another perspective. I, I was at, at, at a certain time of the editing, uh, uh, had a different structure in mind of sort of always go from today in the past and sort of elliptical mm -hmm. going forward in, in, a, in a, but from today sort of. Mm -hmm. And then more and more, I, I had to still keep sort of the lifeline as the storyline because uh, then I used this uh, performance where she told her life on stage yeah, so that, that became a red so thread. Well. Yeah. yeah, I like that. So they reminded us, it always went back to performance but also telling how uh -huh. her life progressed. Right. She was the narrator. You were I the do narrator. have something that happened to me that hmm. uh, I never would have thought about. And that was, it was a rather long section. I really wanted to ask you why you put so much emphasis on it. But there was a period where we had a reunion with two dancers that I had worked with for 18 years, and we'd become really um, interdependent. Mm -hmm. And we could just walk on stage and create a performance. We were that in tune with each other. And I had been so used to that mm -hmm. kind John of experience. John yeah. mm -hmm. But when I saw it, I said to myself, I was so sad. It took me. It was like a divorce. It took me a year to get over right. it uh, th when they left. But then when I saw it in the film, I said to myself, "Thank God they left." It opened me up to be able to do something I never would have done. Mm -hmm. I was no longer caught into this this you know, very special kind of family that we were as performers. Mm -hmm. But I never w would have been free to do all the things I did. So it was the first time that I really, really let go of it. So thank God it happened that way. So you had, a, in watching the movie, you yeah, had a revelation. Yeah, That's and I wanted to ask you, why did you spend so much time huh? on that section? Yes. I mean, these two old men and this old lady re reminiscing <laughs> about their, their, their <laughs> life and, you know, all right already. <laughs> You know, there, there's there's a few answers to that. One thing is in filmmaking, you try to sort of work with struggles and 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 problems and and where you hit, hit a roadblock and find a solution. So there definitely was a, a huge struggle. The other thing was that all the time I felt this was never really told the breakup, and I knew that when I asked you or other people asked you, you were brushing it away because it hurt you so much at that time, mm -hmm. and. And we, we, I mean, we had a, a cut where this whole story was revealed much more in detail, the, the, the reunion and, and the story of the breakup. And some friend of mine who knows the story really well, he said, wow, you're like an investigating journalist. You got that story finally told. But then in the movie, I didn't overemphasize it. Just as, as you said, it, was, it, was, it needed to be told. And I just felt it, it had this kind of immediacy because it was the first reunion they mm -hmm. ever had. Mm -hmm. So I jumped on the occasion just to catch the, the moment. Did you, did you structure that reunion yourself or did you hop, it happen no, to happen? We, we followed it. It happened as a lunch and, and then mm. it, was, it was related to the opening of the book about Anna Helping. There's oh, a, a okay. book that came out at that time. Uh -huh. The A had been living in Costa Rica. Yeah, they were collecting butterflies. Yeah, yeah. and so he flew in 
to uh, for the book opening, and it was the first time that three of us had ever been together oh my God. Uh, since the breakup. And and I knew from John Graham, he he felt all. Many since many many years, sorry about the breakup. Okay. He felt he was misled a little bit, and he always, yeah. um, always had tears about it. It hurt him, and he he, he was so, he, he really loves Anna so dearly, and and um, so I felt that. But A. A. Lee was the kind of missing part right. in this whole thing. And when I saw A. A. Lee, I, re I realized why. I mean, it's quite a character, A. A. Lee. <laughs> There, you know, the clips about uh, them dancing together were quite amazing. And to me, never having heard anything about this, I was struck by the, uh, the contrast between the younger, the younger three and the older three. And you know, in your mind as a viewer, you get to see, you get to rewind time that way. You see, there he is. There you are, closer to now. There you are again, the younger ones. And there's the, the little girl, is Daria being held up by him. And it's just amazing. amazing. And also besides the story we tell, we tell more issues about becoming older and, and seeing early generation and later generation. And for example, you see how AA became, you see how John Graham became, mm -hmm. how Anna became. They're all very, very different in, in their life over mm -hmm. 80, which is very interesting for the audience to see how, yeah. how the, the, the roads you choose. You know. In a way it's voyeuristic and personal, too personal, but in a way it's very, very revealing and it's a gift that you're giving, you all are giving to, to the viewer. Well, thank you. And, and um, Anna, Anna, just that story needed to be told when I, when I uh, saw Anna going back on stage. Well, I'm very glad that the, the movie was made. And I, like we say, it's an unfinished symphony, because unfinished story because you're you're still very much here and doing new things all the time so thank you so much anna halperin thank you so much rudy gerber for talking with me thank you thank you bye